I have a huge database for methylation. I have actually evaluated and determined the methylation status of more than 30,000 patients over many years. What I've learned is that about 70% of human beings have normal methylation. Roughly 22% are under-methylated, and this is, they're born with this. This is an inborn tendency that is genetic in nature. And But 8% are over-methylated. Now, over-methylated people uh, tend to have high anxiety, and many of them are more prone to schizophrenia and to panic disorders. And it's important to identify their methylation status. And now, the fact that they're over-methylated, uh, that means that what happens for them is that the dominant factor in their anxiety is dopamine activity. And dopamine activity is dominated by transport proteins that are involved with reuptake. So the bottom line of this is that if you have an overmethylated patient, they thrive on folates, even though that would tend to make their methylation even higher. And the reason is folates are dopamine reuptake promoters. They lower dopamine activity. And because it's the neurotransmitter dopamine that is causing the problem, they're better off and they thrive on folates. This is somewhat counterintuitive, but based on, on 30,000 patients over the years, we know this is the right approach.